guys tuning in. So it is Wednesday morning. You can see things are busy. We still got Cody and his guys finishing up the deck, which is looking so good. We've got Jack and Luis over here finishing up the edges on this side. Chris has been coming back and forth. He's gonna start laying this patio down in here and finishing up these stairs. We got the guys from Bell's Water Garden working on the pump. Back over there, we are so close. We even got the stone chips down at the bottom. Look at those black stone chips and how awesome they look down in there. So we are so, so close to having this finished, but still so far away from having the whole area finished. We still have to clean up all of this stuff, which means stepping stones in there, which means landscape along the side, landscape along the back, landscape over there, finish up all the edges. Cody built some major giant planter boxes. I wanna get those things full of plants. To make this thing look pretty, we still have a lot of work to do. So we have today, tomorrow, and Friday till midnight on Friday. And I'm guessing tonight's gonna be a late night. I'm guessing Thursday's gonna be a late night. And for sure, Friday's gonna be a late night. So you guys, hold on tight. We're gonna get this thing clean and pretty looking for you. I can't wait to plug it in and show you how awesome it's gonna look. tops are here but because we have some slight imperfections in the crown on our window here and some of the elevations on our wall we're putting down a little bit of thin set down on top this will help us level everything in we'll bring that countertop in put it in and then we can get that nice and level making sure there's no little gaps underneath the countertop if somebody were to step on it which they will with stock on guys <laughs> it did crack so this just makes it really strong you can see the countertop coming in now it gives them a little bit of space yeah, we're trying to get out of the way so that's that I can help This is the moment we've been waiting for. It's been almost a month since we started this project. Water truck has just arrived. That means this thing is getting ready to wrap up. First truck is here today, two trucks tomorrow. So the first one today is basically, we're gonna use it to rinse down most of the wetland, even though we washed it down. We want this thing to be pristine. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take a portion of this water, blast it through the wetland, pump that dirty water out, leave the rest in the bottom. Final two trucks coming tomorrow. This thing will be operational by Friday. Absolutely love the finished look of this. This is a weathered, no, what is it? It's a leathered finish, right? Yeah, leathered honed. Leathered you know honed what? finish on top. The black just really kind of sets everything else off in here. We've got a lot of grays. We've got a lot of blacks. It just really pops with this. And windmill countertops really, really came through for us. This was something we said, hey, listen, you've got like a day to measure and a day to get this out here. And they came through. Look at how awesome this looks. <laughs> Good job. 
on Team Aquascape. Right. Learn this from the longest standing teammate at Aquascape, Herodo. He would come out here and have it done for about five seconds and it'll look perfect. I can spend a half hour and it'll still stream. It's Thursday. You can obviously tell we've hit the ground running. Got a little perspiration. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting tired. I'm getting like flower and garden show tired where it's just kind of all fuzzy. I know we have a lot of stuff to do, but everybody's chipping in. We've got landscape already going in. You can see over to my left, your right, some big arbs are going in. So we're hiding this whole area. Cody from River Rock down there is still plugging away at the deck, doing all the detail stuff down there right now, finishing up stairs. We've asked him to trim out some of the walls on our spillway bowls that got finished super late last night it's gonna be so awesome the only thing I don't know if we'll get done is this patio I just don't I just don't know that's putzing around over there with some plants I'm not sure what he's up to <laughs> he's making the wetland filter look pretty making sure we get that thing all planted with aquatic so we've got so many moving parts the deck guys the plant guys the coping stone guys the pump guys and then there's a whole thing going on in the front that I'm gonna show you in some other episode but yeah for now you guys just hold on because I got a lot of work to do day water's on its way second and third truck that's gonna fill this entire thing up so we're racing to get everything done Cody's down on the bottom finishing up the little details around the window remember that window we had all that metal hardware going around it we had to disguise it the best way to do it was to tie it back into the pergola some of that beautiful cedar we're also finishing up some of the details of the cedar wood around the bowls and as soon as they're done I'm gonna pull this heavy fabric out of the wetland filter reason we put that in there heavy rain again last night and this morning we had this was kind of our walkway going in and out of this thing all day long covered it up with that fabric because we washed it down yesterday to keep it all nice and clean now we're going to pull that back out i grabbed a bunch of these different aquatic plants just to start to soften things up the team from australia and ghana are wrapping up everything with the pumps we have the intake bays in place now what we're doing is doing a little block wall around the pumps reason we're doing that is the pump is going to be sitting here it's known as a flooded suction so we have a pipe coming out of the pump itself that pipe is below water level so that increases complexity a little bit in one way but it makes things better in another makes it better because I don't have to worry about having the pump primed all the time always gonna have water going into the pump volute the challenge with that is we have a higher gradient all the way around it so now we have to make another block wall system using just some of the old block that we had here on site to kind of protect those pumps from all the runoff and from the soil going around the site once that block wall is done then we can make our final connection connecting the spillway bowls the wetland filter and the jets to the plumbing lines that we have inside all that stuff is going to come together hopefully this afternoon <laughs> Just on the other side of this wall, we have, what, a 6,000 gallon water truck here? Filling up as, Filling as we Filling up speak. as we speak, so we're about ready to reveal the so controversial <laughs> toy window. <laughs> this is the exciting part. Let's just see, like, as we fill up, we keep our fingers crossed. Let's hope all the seals around there are good. They've never failed before. It's really no different than uh, hooking up a skimmer. Say it? We're good, right? <laughs> all right, you ready to cut this all and open right, this up? ready, let's do it. It's like opening up like a Christmas present, you know? Ed, you know what I'm talking about? I do. I do. Look at a little teaser. Can you guys see that? Oh. Oh. We already have a visitor. You a little. What the hell? <laughs> You guys, that's YouTube gold. 
<laughs> and build it, yeah. and they will come. Stage the frog now. <laughs> I, I just peeked in there to see how high it was, and it was looking at me. We've had a ton of frogs in here already, like every day. When we when we go up from here, what would be nice is us to release the doves. You know, the little white doves. <laughs> Got a little visitor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Those big rocks from in here they look awesome. It. We don't even need fish. <laughs> it's like a zen, very minimalistic. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking like like just right. love sacks out here, right? Like just bean bags. Back, relax. kind of cleaning up all the construction debris that is just an unfortunate byproduct of what we do. This area all back here is the backdrop to the deck into a big portion of this water feature. So Jack and I are cleaning all this crap out of here so that we can start backfilling with gravel, soil, getting every, all the elevations set, and then, then we can plant the final last few trees and then just finish this area for good. about to be a big event when every contractor in the Chicagoland area is sitting around the pump right now. Ed is about to plug in our first pump. So weeks of work, four days, yeah. five days-ish. <laughs> He's about to plug it in, we'll see. We should see some big air bubbles shoot out from jets.
I don't know if tired's an understatement or not, but I will tell I'm pretty tired. It was an enormous amount of work in the last few days, just pulling everything together, working extremely late nights, but I will tell you this, it is a good tired. I am so, so happy with this project. I wouldn't say it's my favorite project, but it's definitely gonna be one of my more memorable projects of all time. I will tell you, it is so different than what we normally do. This has got that very formal, contemporary feel, which is exactly what we were looking for. It's to inspire people to think just a little bit differently on what you can do with the pond. We so often use big boulders and natural waterfalls and natural streams. We've got big boulders, but there's nothing natural looking about this. I would say though, some of my favorite parts are just like giant boulders, like where that post comes down behind me into a 12,000 pound rock. And when we place these big giant boulders, the thing I love to say is the boulder should look like it was born there. And that big giant rock looks like it was born there. And then we constructed all of this stuff around that. And we did that not only there but there and there and there and there which was so important because you wouldn't just have one giant rock on a property you would have a bunch of them so we have these big giant rocks all over the place none of this happens though without the help of an enormous amount of people Ed Ballou you are the man I wish you were here with me right now buddy you are the man I knew you would be able to figure out a lot of this stuff it's easy for me to draw it up and conceptualize it in my head but sometimes I don't know exactly how to put it all together and I knew you would help me figure all that stuff out. All of the CACs that have collaborated over the last three weeks that have been out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Team Aquascape, you know who you are. Chris Hansen, Chris, Jack, Juan, Jack Danley, Daniel, Luis. I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, but it feels like I got most of them. <laughs> Anyways, all of Team Aquascape, thank you so much. And last and most importantly, thank you Aquascape. The pond guy, Colleen, you know how long I've been wanting to do this. You guys know how long I've been wanting to change something in the aqua gardens, and this is about as big of a change as we can possibly do. I don't know if you guys remember from episode one what used to be here, but there's no way I can even imagine that old pond with those two waterfalls that came down and that circle deck that sat over there. It's so, so hard to visualize all that again, but this is such a different feel. I think what I'm most excited about though is your guys' comments, what's your favorite part about it, and then second, and probably a little bit more important than that, is how people are gonna use this space. I cannot wait for Pondemonium and seeing how people come down here and use this space, whether everybody's up like this, are people gonna be up on the deck, are people gonna be sitting on countertops feeding fish or are people going to be swimming in it who knows i guarantee you people are going to use it differently and there's so many different ways you can use this project you guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching sometime in the near future i get to do a walkthrough with my counterpart ed Ballou and show you guys our favorite parts and take you on a great great tour of this whole thing and see all the landscape and the lights you guys i can't wait to show you the nighttime pictures too it's going to be so awesome if you want to see more of the behind the scenes and how this whole thing was put together make sure you check out the link below and go to aquascape university where you can see step-by-step -step construction and more detailed planning on how all this stuff went together thanks so much like comment subscribe tell me your favorite part thanks for watching you're the best <laughs>